my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I'm here today to show you how to make these super easy and super adorable DIY soft monkey stuffed animals. Like I said, they're crazy easy to make. You do not need a sewing machine. They're very inexpensive and they make really great gifts. The best part is they're completely customizable. You choose the sock that you want to use for your design. I just chose the classic sock monkey sock. Now I just went to Amazon and I typed in sock monkey sock and it's the first pair of socks that came up. If you have any other questions about these sock monkeys, just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them back as soon as possible. And we're going to move right into this tutorial. So for the sock monkey, all you're going to need is a pair of socks, some polyfill that I bought at Walmart for $3, some needle and thread, a pair of buttons, and a pair of scissors. Start by taking one sock and turning it inside out, making sure the heel is facing upward. Measure out about an inch from below the heel. Use your scissors and cut the sock up to the inch mark. Now you're going to sew each leg about 3 fourths of the way up, leaving the top middle section alone. If you want a more detailed description of the sew that I am using, I will link my DIY Mickey Ears tutorial below, where I give step by step instructions. Use whatever stitch is easiest for you. Again, sew each leg the same way. Now use the open section in your hands to pull the sock back right side up. Take some polyfill and stuff the body of your sock monkey. Make it as fluffy or as flat as you'd like it to be. Now you're ready to sew the bottom together, completing the body of the sock monkey. Again, use whatever stitch is easiest for you. I'd like to map out where I'd like the head to land, so I use an elastic to help create the shape. I tie it together until I get the shape that I'd like. For the monkey's mouth, 
Cut the heel off of your second sock. Fill the mouth up with your desired amount of polyfill, then sew it onto the bottom half of the face. For the eyes, simply position where you'd like the buttons to land and sew them in place. For the arms, use your second sock and cut straight through the middle and across until you have two long rectangular shaped pieces. Turn each piece inside out and sew from the bottom corner to the top of the quote unquote rectangle, leaving space to pull the arms right side up again. Once both arms are sewn, pull them through so they're right side up again and fill each arm with polyfill. Now you're ready to sew each arm in place. For the ears, cut two half circles out of your second sock. I like to start by sewing the open portion of the ear together and then sewing each ear onto the corner of the sock monkey's face. And on to the last part of the process, the tail. Use the remainder of your second sock to cut another long rectangular shape. Again, turn the piece inside out and sew along the edges. Pull your sock through so it's right side up again, but do not fill with polyfill, unless you are going for a more puffed out tail. I like mine to be flatter. Sew the tail above the butt of the monkey, and voila, you're done. You've just made your own handmade sock monkey.
I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you recreate this DIY craft, please take a picture and tag me on Instagram or on Twitter. Thank you all for your love and support on my channel. You are seriously all my people. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys!